click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this lecture we will see conviction and its application we know there are three mode of transfer of energy that is heat energy first one is a conduction second one is convection and third one is a radiation so in this video we will see what is convection now convection is nothing but carrying or we can say taking away now in case of conduction this is happening in the solids and convection is applicable for the liquids now what is the difference between conduction and the convection so in case of convection this is happening in the liquid we know in the liquid molecules are freely move from one position to the another position so here we have a beaker and that beaker consist of a water now we are supplying the external amount of energy to the beaker that is in the form of heat so we'll say this is heat energy now the molecule which is at the bottom will absorb this heat energy after heating up it will move to the upward direction because after heating that will become lighter the molecule which is at the top will come down again that molecule will take that amount of energy and become lighter and move in upward direction so in this way the cycle is continuous and this is happening up to the maintaining the temperature of the beaker so this is the process of convection means in case of convection there is a actual movement of molecule from one place to the another place means molecule absorbing energy and then they are carrying away that energy then second molecule come to that position they will absorb energy and then they will go to or carry that amount of energy so in case of convection there is actual movement of the molecules let us see application of the convection first application is room ventilation we know room ventilation or we can say exhaust fan are provided at the high position of the room because see generally what is happening here let us consider this is a room and here we are providing exhaust fan so when we have a warm air or carbon dioxide because of the temperature it will go up because this is become lighter and will move upward direction and this warm air or the carbon dioxide will go out of the room and the air molecule which is at low temperature will settle down at the lower position so in this way we can maintain the temperature of room so this is one first application that is room ventilation second application is here that is gas filled coil electric lamp now second application that is gas filled coil electric lamp gas filled coil electric lamp in this case gas filled coil electric lamp reduce the convectional current and increase the temperature of lamp life or life of the lamp means what is happening in this case it reduce the innermost temperature of the lamp so that heated air will go up and maintain the temperature of lamp so in this way we can increase the life of lamp so these are the applications of convection thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and please subscribe ikeda thank you